Welcome to Rise Up Namobia. So in this video, we're going to be looking at writing a number as the product of its prime factors by Matt Yanata aka the resistor of bad and the love of good. Hashtag dark and lovely underscore walk by faith and not by sight. So, let's start with the definition. What is a factor? A factor is a number that divides exactly into a given number without leaving a reminder. Okay, what is a prime number? A prime number or prime numbers, these are numbers that can only be divided by one and the number itself without leaving a reminder. Say for example, five. Five can only be divided by five and one without leaving a reminder. Good. So these are the first 25 prime numbers. If you need to write them down, do pause the video and write them down on a piece of paper or so. How to write a number as a product of its prime factors? So rule number one, start by dividing the number with the first prime number, which is two. Hmm? I would advise you to memorize at least the first 10 prime numbers that we just saw from the previous slide. Rule number two, continue dividing with that prime number until you notice that the number is no more divisible without a reminder. Okay? Rule number three, start dividing the number with the next prime number until there is no other number to divide with but one. If you don't understand these rules, don't worry, we'll get into examples that will enlighten your understanding. So example number one, write 36 as a product of its prime factors. What do we do? So we divide 36 by 2. Okay, I would advise you to have a drawing like this one. Hmm? So it makes it easier for you. So when we start by saying 36 divided by 2, why 2? Because 2 is the first, huh? this, is, this is now referencing back to the first rule. Because 2 is the first prime number. So we write 36, the side, which is the left side, and we write the 2 on the right hand side. Hmm? So we say 36 divided by 2 equals to 18. Okay, so what do we do next? We divide 18 by 2. Why are we dividing it still by 2? Because now we are checking again with the first prime number. If we divide 18, will we still get a whole number? If yes, then we will continue dividing by 2. But if no, we will move on to the next prime number. Okay, let's have a look. 18 divided by 2. So 18 divided by 2. What answer do you get? You get 9, which is a what? A whole number. Okay, so we move on. Divide 9 by 3. Why is it by 3 and not by 2 anymore? Because when you divide 9 by 2, you get a decimal as an answer. What does it tell you when you get a decimal as an answer? It tells you that you need to move to the next prime number. Hmm? In this sense, the next prime number from 2 is 3. So we divide the 9 by 3. So what is the answer? 9 divided by 3, it gives you 3. Okay, so let's look what's next. Divide 3 by 3. So, is it still going to give us an answer which is a whole number and not a decimal? Let's have a look. 3 divided by 3 gives you 1. And each time you notice that you reach a 1, it means you have reached to your answer. So your answer is 36 equals to 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Hmm? So this is the product of its prime factors, the product of 36 as its prime factors, this is the answer. So to test it, you can use your calculator, just type in 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. You should be able to get 36. Okay? Example number 2, write 45 as a product of its prime factors. What do we do? When we divide 45 divided by 2, we get a decimal, which means this time around, we skip the first prime number. We start dividing with what? Let's have a look. The second prime number. Because when we divide 45 by 3, we get 15, which is what? A whole number. Good. So you write your 45 this side, which is the left hand side, and you write the 3 this side. Because it's 45 divided by 3. What is the answer? 15. So we write the answer underneath the 45. What do we do next? We divide 15 by 3. Okay. Why is it by 3? Because it still gives you a whole number as an answer. 
So we say 15 divided by 3 equals to what? Equals to 5. Okay? So what do we do now? When we divide 5 by 3, what do we get? We get a decimal. So we can't continue dividing by 3 anymore because we have reached a decimal. Huh? So what do we do now? We divide 5 by 5. Huh? Why by 5? Because the first prime number is 2, the second prime number is 3, and the third prime number is what? Is 5. So good. So we divide this 5 by 5. What do we get? We get 1, which means we have reached to what? To our answer. And these numbers on your right hand side are always what? Your answer. Good. So our answer is 45 equals to 3 times 3 times 5. Hmm? So in this case we have written 45 as a product of its prime factors. So example number 3. Write 81 as a product of its prime factors. What do we do? Divide 81 by 2 we get an answer as a decimal. Meaning we skip the 2. When we divide 81 by 3, we get 27, which is a whole number. So we write 81 this side, and we divide it by 3. So 81 divided by 3 equals to 27. So what do we do next? We divide 27 by 3, which gives us a 9, which is a whole number, which means again, 27 divided by 3 gives us this whole number, which is 9. What do we do? We still divide it by 3 to check if we will get a whole number. Yes, we do get a whole number, which is 3. So 9 divided by 3 gives us 3. Okay? So what do we do next? Divide 3 by 3, which will give you 1, which is still a whole number. So 3 divided by 3 equals to 1. So don't get confused. Like this answer, we've reached the answer, but we've only used one prime number. So yes, it is possible that you can divide with only one prime number and you still get to the answer. So the answer is 81 equals to 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. If you doubt the answer, do type this 3 times 3 times 3 in your calculator to check if it will give you 81 as an answer. Great stuff. So here I've given you extra examples with answers for you guys to practice. Look at it, practice, check if you can get the right answer. I mean, thank you all for watching. Please do like, subscribe. Turn on that notification button to be the first to see the next upload. Share with friends, family and classmates. And do remember, together we all rise to higher heights and apart we all stay behind. Cheers.